Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how to use fresh paint. Um, so you should have already downloaded that and if you haven't yet um, that link is on um, in the activators. Um, so here we are in fresh paint. I have it open. This is um, where it brings you first. Right, so these are the artworks that I've made recently. To make a new one, I'm going to click on this red plus sign here. And fresh canvas. All right, so here is my toolbox. I've got um, oil paints that are open here in the middle. Um, so I'm going to use my finger to paint, and I highly recommend you do the same. Um, or at least try it out. I know some people prefer the mouse, uh, but I find, and most of my students find, that drawing with your finger is um, the easiest. So right on your touch screen, um, I'd like you to play around with, um, so each, there are five different brushes here, five different shapes of brush. Um, each can be made bigger or smaller with the plus and minus signs. All right, so I'd like you to just play around with how each of these brushes looks and feels what it looks like when it gets bigger or smaller. And you'll, whoops, hey. And you'll notice that the paint is blending together, right? So the paint is behaving like wet paint, which is one of my favorite things about fresh paint, um, is that you can blend it as if it were real wet paint. Uh, but sometimes you don't want your paint to blend. Um, so if it's blending too much and you want to paint something on top of it, uh, you can use this handy dandy fan right here. So you click on this. Now all of the paint on your canvas is dry and you can paint over it. Uh, so now that we've tested out each of the brushes, I'd like you to look at the colors. So if you come down here to this uh, color circle, this brings you to your color options. Um, so you've got some pre-selected colors here that you can use. All right. Um, and if none of these colors is what you're looking for, uh, you can come to what I call the infinite color chooser. Um, so this is the uh, white, gray, black circle with the rainbow on the side. So here you can uh, put this anywhere on the rainbow for the shade you're looking for. Um, and then you can move this around. So the center is the brightest. Over here we get light. Over here we get dark. And top and bottom are kind of grayer. All right, so I'm going to click on my brushes to put that color I just chose on my brush. And now I can paint with that. And that color that you just made will save down here so you can come back to it later. Um, one other color option you have is the mixing palette. Um, so with the mixing palette, you could Put some of this color on here, maybe some of this color. Okay, you can mix them together. All right, so you can mix them so that you get um, both colors on your brush at the same time. Right, let's put it on the big brush so you can really see it. Love those colors. All right, so you've got this mix of colors on your brush all at once. You could also keep mixing here to create um, a solid color that is that is unlike the colors you can find in. Um, the infinite color chooser, which though I say it's infinite, it's not quite infinite. <laughs> Sometimes you can't quite get the right color, um, especially the bright colors um, can be hard to nail down exactly what you're looking for. So sometimes it's easier to mix it. 
And then if you need some space for, to, to mix another color, uh, you click on these scrubby bubbles, it washes off. You can also wash off your brush uh, here in the water cup. All right, um, so those are the basics of oil paints and brushes. Um, now let's take a look. Oh, actually, before we go, um, we've got the eraser. All right, so the eraser erases only what has not been dried with the fan. All right, so this only erases what I haven't dried yet with the fan. Um, and same with the blender. So this white stick is a blender stick. Um, right, so it kind of swishes your colors around without adding any more paint. Um, if you want to blend something. Um, and again, it only blends what is wet and has not been dried with that fan. Okay, um, I am going to come over to the canvas here. And just for the sake of you seeing what I'm doing, I'm going to clean off this canvas. Um, usually I don't clean my canvas this way. Usually I just get a new one. Um, but if you do something you don't like it, you want to get rid of it, you can come over here to your canvas um, and click on the scrubby bubbles and remove it all. Uh, while we're here, uh, you can also change your canvas texture, all these different textures, including totally flat. Uh, paper textures, canvas textures. Uh, we also have some color options, so you can uh, you can make your canvas whatever color you want. All right. Now let's get back to painting. Here we go. Um, so if you click this little brush here on the left, that opens up your watercolor drawer. Um, so watercolor works very similar similarly to the oil paints we already um, worked with. Uh, they just have kind of a different paint quality. Right? So they are translucent, which means you can see through them, uh, which also means that when you layer paint on top of itself, it gets darker. Right, So the more you go over it, the darker it gets. Um, so that has a really nice kind of watery quality to it. Um, same as the others, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you've got different brush shapes. Right. They all start out kind of clear and as you layer them they build. Um, you have all the same um, color tools here. Right. So you can, whoops, So you can use all of these colors, just the same. Uh, you can also use your mixing palette. And for mixed colors. All right. That, I believe, covers our watercolor. And our last drawer over here where this pencil is, is the drawing drawer. Um, so we've got three types of pencils. The 4H is the lightest. Let me clear this off again so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so the 4H is the lightest pencil. Um, again, all of these pencils can change color, just like the brushes. Um, HB is, a, is darker and thicker than the 4H, um, and 2B is even darker and thicker than that. Um, I like to use the 4H quite a bit um, for preliminary sketches, so um, when I'm kind of sketching out what I want something to look at, what I want something to look like, and then I'm going to paint over it, um, I always start with that nice light pencil. Um, it's easy to erase, it's easy to cover. Um, let's see, we've also got the pen. Um, so the thing to know about the pen is that often um, if you use the fan to dry something, the pen um, often jumps to the front. Not exactly sure why, uh, but uh, the pen will not stay covered if you, um, if you paint over it and then dry. And of course now it's not going to do it. It did it to me just the last time I was doing it. Anyway. 
beware of the pen sometimes. It will not be dried. Um, but I do like it. I do really like the pen um, as kind of final outline. So if I've made a painting, um, right, say I've made a painting and I want to define my edges, they've gotten a little blurry um, in my painting. All right, I want to define them. I like to use that pen as the finishing bit. All right, to get those nice edges. Um, and finally, we have the pastels. Um, so again, just like the paints, you can change their colors. The only thing different is that you cannot use the mixing palette with the oil pastels. Um, the lovely thing about the oil pastels is that um, they don't have the texture of the oil paints, uh, but they do mix very similarly. They're, um, you know, nice and thick and solid, um, but without all that bumpy texture. Um, so I do quite like those. Um, they, of course, can also be made smaller to get into little places. Uh, they can be dried. All right? See? There, there, there's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so they can be made smaller. They can be made bigger. Uh, they can be erased and blended with the blender stick and the eraser. All right, um, what else do I need to show you here? Okay, um, so we can also save, all right? So um, if you love your painting, you wanna save it, you wanna put it in your PowerPoint, you're gonna click on this blue disc shape. All right, it'll put it right in your pictures folder. I'm gonna call it demo, all right? Name it something you'll remember, save it. Um, and now I'm gonna press this back arrow, right? So anytime you wanna start a new painting, you can hit that back arrow, arrow and you can get a new painting, fresh canvas. Um, I'm also gonna show you one more thing. Um, so if I wanted to put a picture in, um, let's see, I am going to look for a baby monkey. Cute. Give me a cute picture of a baby monkey. Oh, there it is. There's a cute picture. Okay. Ooh, actually. No, no. No, I'm gonna, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that one. Okay. <laughs> so I found my picture. I'm gonna right click on it. I'm going to save image as. Do not copy, save baby monkey. I'm gonna save that. Now I'm gonna go back to fresh paint and click on this yellow import button, the yellow box with the arrow, uh, photos, find files, and now I can grab that from my pictures folder, open, and now it's on my on my painting, okay? Um, so there are some, uh, some options here that I don't really ever use. I keep it normal, uh, but I do use this here. Um, so I like to put it under paint. Um, if you put it as paint, you can blend it and swish it around. Um, you can change the kind of paint that it's made of. Uh, but I like to put it under the paint and just use it as a reference and paint on top of it. All right, so then I'm gonna click Start Painting. And now, oh, I forgot to show you this. Okay, so this, you can select a color from your picture or your painting, right? It could be um, you just wanna grab a color that you've already used on a painting, uh, whether or not it's from a picture. All right, and now I'm just gonna use this color anywhere I see it here in this, right? If I was trying to make a painting of this monkey, All right, <clears throat> All right. so we grab this, we land on the color we like, take it away, now it's on our brush. 
Handy dandy. All right, what else? What else am I missing? I feel like I'm missing something. Zoom, right, okay. So um, if I, it's really important to be able to zoom in and out and move around while you're zoomed in uh, because it's hard to get details from out here. Right, it's hard to, it's hard to get that right. But if I zoom in, it is much easier to get that right. So um, what I'm doing is on my touch screen or, or on my trackpad, um, I am pinching my fingers and putting them on the screen and then I'm spreading them apart to zoom in and then the opposite to zoom out. Zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, right? Uh, when I'm zoomed in, um, I need to use two fingers on the screen to scroll around. If I were to use one finger, I would draw. So I need two fingers to scroll around inside. And again, um, this is on your touch screen or on your trackpad, whichever you prefer. They both work. Okay. I believe that's everything. That was quite a lot, isn't it? Well, um, that is how you use fresh paint. You can always come back to this tutorial if you don't remember. You can always ask me in class. Um, it's a great painting program. I really love painting with it. It feels a lot like real paint, but cleaner. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good one.